What's up? Welcome again to this week's K1 Agenda, Agenda K1. This is episode 34. That's episode 34. Um, I'm really digging doing this. It's really a lot of fun and, you know, just getting prepared for it. I think about it during the week when I'm doing other work and stuff. And it's, it's, been, it's been a lot of fun. I'm going to keep it up no matter how many visitors I get, how many views I get. I'm going to keep it up. And it's officially on my YouTube page once again. K1 Agenda, Agenda K1. Optic Studios News. I just want to say, hey, everybody, I am re-energized and, and ready for what's coming in the next couple of weeks before Christmas. Um, uh, like you know, I said in my last week's uh, episode, I'm working on a special sci-fi pro project that um, I'm really excited about for, for to try to get into movie scoring and also to take uh, Optic Nerve, my music that's a, a techno side, to a whole nother level and learn more things about orchestration and um, creating those uh, sci-fi and um, horror and drama type moods in the movies and stuff. And it's a project that will be uh, released, I hope. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's, 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 it's really been enlightening um, and a lot of fun. That's what I was missing. I, I, um, I've been having a lot of fun this last year with all the projects and stuff I've been working on, and it's been a lot of fun. The name of the tracks is um, Conception is the first track. Second track is Portals. Third track is Foregone. Uh, fourth track is Mutations, which I'm still finishing up now, and then I have one more track that I'm working on. Um, and then up until Christmas, I'll just be doing the final arrangements and mix downs for those. And, you know, then I'm moving on, I believe, uh, what's the next project? Uh, this is another one that I really can't announce um, that's in the works. But um, all my other projects are finished with, um, I have a 12 inch coming out next year uh, with Doppler Effect. I have a, another uh, 12 inch uh, collaboration with DJ Mako. Uh, coming out. Um, In the Works is another uh, collaboration with Claude Young. Um, uh, a, a new Alien FM with Black Tony. Um, also, um, my K1 Electro. I have tons of K1 Electro new music coming out that's killer and is, is going to elevate Puzzle Box and what I've done in the Electro genre to another level. Puzzle Box Records News. Um, I just want to uh, update everybody. I, I will be keeping up with my social media. I mean, I'm doing a very good job of that, constantly letting you know what's going on with our new releases, um, collaborations, what I'm doing in the studio, how I go about doing things in the studio, uh, special streaming live stuff coming from the studio. I have more news on that coming in 2021. Uh, more, we're going to do some live streaming, um, live shows directly from the studio on some past releases, new releases, and um, just interviews with, within the studio on, on what I'm doing. I want to make sure that um, from here and from now on, regardless of the, the outcome of this pandemic and what's going on, that I want to keep this going with a weekly show and everything that I'm doing, because uh, it's an extension of me or who I really am, which a lot of people just thought I was just an artist. But, you know, I've always wanted to do this. And now with the technology, man, it's available to put you up on everything that I'm doing all the time. Not just music, but just in life and what's going on and, you know, keep you motivated. But um, 
I have been um, very um, successful lately with um, the the new designs that I put up um, as far as all the all the other designs that I've ever done over the years, uh, the Optic Studios, the Puzzle Boss Records, the AUX88, the Detroit um, Wear, and I want to show you, show you that right now. Um, check out this uh, commercial. Once again, I put it in every week to uh, go out here. Um, I'm having a big sale on everything from, you guessed it, um, laptop bags to hoodies, t-shirt, uh, cups, coffee mugs, stickers, um, phone covers, all types of stuff for every last one of the designs that I've ever done. And it's available worldwide. All stock is in stock. And from sizes small all the way to 5X. So for all my big, big fellas, players from Detroit and all over the world, you can get everything in 5X size. So please buy these. Here you go. The new merchandise page with uh, a lot of my art and everything that's coming out um, that you can buy all the puzzle box art, all the AUX88 art, all the label art I did with, um, you know, laptop bags, um, t-shirts, hoodies. Here's the link for my puzzle box record store. So please check it out. I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to be promoting that a lot as well as on social media. I will also be promoting, um, where you can buy all my music as far as, you know, vinyl, um, what stores carry it. Also, digital media where you can buy all. My whole catalog is available everywhere via iTunes, Deezer, you know, whatever um, digital outlets there is. You can get everything there. Now, keep in mind, um, right now we still have um, repressions that we got in for uh, the new Alien FM, which is... Me and Black Tony is a nice picture. This is one of the publicity shots that we took for the new monochromatic images, PBX30. Still out. Um, we're in the process of repressing a lot of the D DBC catalog as well, which if you didn't know, DBC is direct beat classics. All the Red Records uh, classics we're repressing. And also, out right now, is the latest puzzle box, which is AUX88, the Mad Scientist 12-inch, which is PBX31 with me, myself, and Tommy Hamilton. It has the track voice modulation on it and Mad Scientist on the B side. Here's the artwork, pick it up. I'm gonna put you up on it every week. And also, coming up um, in a couple of days digitally will be, which will be December 11th, will be um, Electro Ghetto Tech with me and DJ Godfather. It's coming out digitally. This was a, a really great project and I'll be doing a lot more work with uh, Brian, DJ Godfather. But I just want to let you know the vinyl will be coming out in January 2021, distributed by Clone Records. Question of the week. The question of the week, um, I've been getting this question um, ever since I've been doing these uh, weekly shows, and this is the 34th show. Um, the question is, the AUX, the big AUX88 question, which is, you know, am I still a part of the group AUX88? Um, you know, what's going on with my input in AUX88? Well, I'm, I'm going to finally say this and put this, and I'm going to say this, and this will be the last time I mention it. Um, I'll always be a part of AUX88. Uh, I worked hard, and, you know, that's in my heart. Um, working with some of the guys that, you know, I've been knowing for years, loved them like brothers and everything. But you know what? Um, I'm always going to be a part of that, AUX88. But what I want to say is that um, that's more or less the past for me. Um, right now, I want you to know me for me, for K1, Optic Nerve, Alien FM, and some of the other uh, aliases I go over. I want you to know me, not for what I did in the past. Um, I want to move forward. And that's what this is about, the K-1 agenda, I'm moving forward. And also the fact of um, 100%, 110% that I put in for anything that I've ever been involved in, including AUX88. Um, now I can put 110% into myself um, that I can depend on to get things done. I will, as of now, for AUX88 and the future, always be a part of AUX88, but I will not be doing any new music for AUX88. 
no uh, artwork, no anything, websites, all of that, video, promotion, anything related to that, I won't be doing anymore. It's strictly the K-1 agenda, and it's about leaving a legacy that people will get to know me and what I do and what I've done and what I'm doing. So I'm going to put that to bed. No harsh feelings. I wish all the fellas luck, um, but I will not be doing anything else, and I will be pushing my efforts and what I do and my sound and what it is I've always tried to accomplish, which is a professionalism, um, a person you can depend on, getting my stuff done, always in a timely manner. And I have a lot of uh, things that I've always loved and wanted to get into and plan to do, and I thought I would be a lot more further. So, you know, on that note, I'll always be a part of AUX88. Thank you, as always, guys. That's a great question. Um, if you have any more questions, send it to Puzzle Box Records. Excuse me, PuzzleBox at PuzzleBoxRecords.com. Any questions you may have, I don't have a problem answering them. Uh, if you want to leave them on YouTube, just ask me any kind of questions. Um, I'm a person that's constantly uh, working, but I'm never too busy, man, to return an email or just, you know, do what I need to do to uh, keep my name on. And that's just a part of who I am. So thank you. Love the question. Um, hmm. This week on old pics and old video. Um, this one, I mean, one place I always like to play, and it's a little small place, it's called the Distillery Club. And um, is it Leipzig? Leipzig, Germany? Um, yeah, the Distillery Club, man. The Distillery Club used to be out cold. Every time we played that place, man, it, I mean, we usually play, we always play for an hour. We get paid to play for an hour. If you want us to play longer, you got to pay. But this particular place, man, it's always so crowded when we come that people are waiting outside to get in. So we play longer so they can get other people in and uh, show them. But here's, um, I want to show you, this is, I keep up with everything. Over all the years, I've always kept up, you know, videotapes, pictures, because I knew this was happening, was going to happen years later. You know, we want to show that and show what we've done and, um, you know, for the future. This is a video of me and Tom from AUX88 playing an unreleased track that we were just trying out at the distillery club. Check it out. <laughs> Another one, another old picture. I usually do one video, uh, old pic or old video of the week, but I had to show this one. This is um, this is rare. This is I think this was like man, this had to be like 1997, 98. Um, this is just showing you what it was like in that period of uh, techno and electro in Detroit. This was me doing a live show at a loft, a big loft downtown, and the name of the gig was called a technological hijacking, and. Just look at the amount of gear that I had to bring, you know, to play live. And, and I had to set all of that up. This was before, you know, the laptops and digital area where, uh, era where you brought, you know, you didn't have to have that much equipment. But just check it out. Uh, this is some rare behind the scenes footage of me. And a friend of mine used to work with me at General Motors. A lot of people don't know that I used to work for General Motors. Um, you know, I had a, a nice uh, um, office job, you know, and... Uh, my friend, uh, he was a big jazz lover, man. He came out like I had a, had this gig, and he was like, "Hey, man, I help you all uh, set up." And he, he came out there with me at the time. Uh, Wanda uh, Dixon was my partner in Puzzle Boss. You hear in the background with the with the video, and she was recording. So check it out. This is a uh, real real live footage. They have a roadie assigned to them to like 
handle their keyboard rig or the drum rig or a guitar. Suppose you come out and you're doing your show and he don't have the instruments tuned right. Don't you see why people act crazy? Mm -hmm. And people in Hollywood, like, you know, the music industry, like, man, that guy is crazy. I mean, he's a perfectionist. Well, he's gonna be the one look bad. Ain't nobody gonna think about his sound person. Because they didn't do the job right. They gonna, they gonna be damn like, damn. Is that even? I'll get these screws out for this hour. Alright. Did you move the top one? This is an enhanced seat. It's compatible with Macintosh and IBM. Yeah, it's got quick time video. He comes on. If you put on your CD player, you're not going to get this music come off because I know when you put a CD, an audio CD, it just takes the music off. But it starts off. I mean, it is involved. You got another type of shirt. What you call that? Like a bathroom? Yeah, I can... Subs? No, I just need to know where to plug the left and right from your mixer to be the... Which of the sub? Sub 1 and 2. Sub 1 and 2? Yeah, right here. I got it. Thank you. <laughs> I want to thank you for helping me out last time. Hey, I was in a bind at the last minute. Not a problem. Thank you. This is on candy camera. Who do you hate? <laughs> a magnet. Come on now. <laughs> You'll be sitting there like the dad recorder won't play. What's going on? What's going on? The uh, song people with Thank you. 
time because i mean you did a lot of work to do that i had to bring my sequencer load up the disc load up all the sounds man and play them and everything and this time in detroit was like that era of man it was parties every weekend where artists was coming from overseas playing i'm traveling overseas and had to carry a lot of that stuff i had to carry over with me i had all type of keyboard cases and everything so this was it was a fun time and um I'm so glad with the, you know, with the, with the, with the show that I'll be able to show you a whole lot more of that from, you know, different times when I've been out and, and with me with AUX88 and some of the other groups and stuff that I've been in. Um, but this was, this was really cool. So thank you. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll try to give you more. Shout outs for this week. Well, this is, um, this one is really special. This is a really, these two are really special. Um, you know, I go through all my archives, man. I have like hard drives full of pictures and um, video, but I want to send, this is a special picture that I remember this time so well. Um, Laura Gabor, man. Anybody knows this is uh, Laura Gabor. Man, the beautiful Laura Gabor. Oh, man. She was, she was, she was, she, not only was she a beautiful lady, she loved techno music and she promoted and helped everybody in the genre, man. And she passed away far too soon. Uh, Laura Gavore, man, just want to say, um, I know you're looking down and smiling on everybody and seeing how they all doing it. And shouts out to Nancy, man. She's just as, just as beautiful and, and as a sweetheart too, man. Every time you see Nancy, Nancy is always, you know, into the techno jump. She's at every gig, supporting everybody. Um, special shouts out. Love you, Laura Gavor. Beautiful, and we miss you. Um, we starting to uh, lose quite a few people that was in, in, in the genre. And Laura Gavor, love you. Um, please, um, everybody who remember her, you know, just all you can do is smile. Laura Gavor. Um, this last one, um, is, um, I usually do it once a year and this is, um, I want to put a picture up. This is my brother, my oldest brother, my older brother, which is, his name is Mark Antonio Tucker. So I want everybody to know that once again, Mark Antonio Tucker, um, it's kind of tough every year going through not seeing him. Wondering if he's dead, alive, in jail, or what's going on. I haven't seen my brother in over over 10 years, and it's really tough because everybody who knows me always asks me about him. Well, how's your brother? How's your brother doing? He's always been that type of dude who just did his own thing. He's, you know, I miss him. I know my mother and father miss him. I know uh, a lot of people in my family. And, you know, I always try to be pretty strong about it because, you know, he's my older brother. I'm the youngest. So, you know, um, I'm a grown man. So what I'm doing with me and my family, that's what I have to do. But, you know, to, to just be gone, which he's done this before, and just doing your own thing and not even contact, you know, us or my moms. And my parents are 74 years old now. They're getting up there, man, you know. You know, I know it's tough for them, but I just want to put up some more pictures and just say, hey, if anybody out there knows my brother, Mark Antonio Tucker, they call him Tony. One of his names, well, growing up, when he was doing his little gang bang, and they used to call him Popeye. So, everybody, um, if you know him or know my brother, please get in contact so we can catch up with him. Um, but if you ever see this video or anybody who knows him, more pictures I have to show. Just want to say I love you, bro. Um, I miss you. And I hope that 
we could man, connect some type of way so you can get back home, man. Get back home. Whatever, whatever's going on, you can always come home and mom and dad miss you. I mean, they, they tough, man, and it's tough for them. It's hard for us to talk about it, but, you know, it ain't a day go by that I don't think about you or wish that, you know, I can give you a hug and tell you how much I love you. But um, on that note, I just want to say wherever you are, man, I hope you're safe. Merry Christmas. And, you know, that would be the greatest gift in the world to uh, be able to see you, man, and drive down. And I know the pandemic is going on and just surprise moms and dad with, with you around. I love you, bro. And um, everybody, I'll see you next week. And I just want to say, everyone, please hit that subscribe button for YouTube and please subscribe to my page. Um, I really have enjoyed all the support I've been getting, but hey, like this and subscribe to this page. Keep Tucker K1. Hit the subscribe button. Thank you.